and painting our children and teaching our children to be degenerates. And if you are a public figure that pushes this image and this lifestyle for likes and views and a way to make money in our society, then I and we have the duty to exercise our First Amendment right as traditional media and new age digital media analysts to say no. This ain't it. This is not defamation or invasion of privacy when these machines have pushed this lifestyle on us for profit. This ain't about $4 million. This machine never wanted my money. They wanted to shut down my company in order to protect their assets that glorify this reckless and dangerous lifestyle pushed on us and our children. It was about someone demanding that I respect and give respect to something that has never earned my respect. This is about changing the trajectory of how things have been done in Hollywood for over a century. There are no more gatekeepers, no more red tape, no more waiting to be picked and told what you have to do. If we simply believe in ourselves and our God-given right to live our lives purposeful and don't allow our gifts to die with us, we all hold the key to change. New age digital media such as myself and traditional media, we exercise our First Amendment right to publish our opinions and facts concerning these caricatures of stereotypes pushed in our homes and into our society, and we are just supposed to accept it because there's money on the table? No, absolutely not. This case was meant to drain me financially, and it did not. And send a message to anyone who thinks they have the right to challenge a machine that protects their corporate interests. We knew this case. We knew why this case didn't go our way. Our First Amendment right was intentionally hindered from the moment the case was filed. My company and I have built a platform that has been stamped over and over by traditional media and, most importantly, my viewers, you all. I have broken hundreds of stories on this platform from the moment I started recording videos in my guest bedroom back in 2015 while working at Seasons 52 as a server. I know y'all maybe think this is over, but no, this is just the beginning. I will spend as many years as I can to protect our right to voice our opinions and facts on these images that are sold and pushed on us. The appeal process has already started and we intend to expose every conspiracy against me, my company, and my family. I was supposed to be destroyed a long time ago, but it did not happen. I am still here. We are still here. This machine tried to squeeze us for everything, but God said otherwise and blessed us with much, much more. We have built this platform video by video from my guest bedroom back in 2015, coupled with the best and most creative eyes and hands in production, my husband, my backbone. And he is the only man that encouraged me to fight this case from the beginning. My case will set a precedent for all future media, and we intend to fight until the truth is out. There was no defamation, no invasion of privacy, and suicidal thoughts, and we proved that with sufficient factual evidence. In court, my lawyers taught me about preserving the record so that it's noted for the future. Well, this is me right now preserving the record. We will fight no matter the cost or length, even if this takes years. I spent 11 years building this platform to serve as a leader in media. Media is a power, fighting machines with endless money protecting their investments. My husband has spent over 20 years working in production. We have over 1 million viewers and hundreds of millions of viewers and most who have been with us since the very beginning. I love y'all so much for that. Y'all built me. 
and y'all are the only ones who can take away, the viewers. I show my gratitude and appreciation by fighting for this priceless gift. You have gifted my family and me and the right to exercise our freedom of speech as human beings. Kibi Studios is a household name. Unwind with me.